This HAN Network video is brought to you by SCAP Auto Group. On the campus of St. Joseph High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the coach and captains for the Cadets Girls Basketball Team this season. He is Coach Chris Linwald and Captains Allison Krakowska and Sarah Johnson. Girls Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us this morning. Sarah, let me start with you. Uh, you guys are back onto the court. You've got a game under your belt now. What have been the emotions uh, for the team so far this year? It's been really exciting. All the girls this year are really close and it's been fun. And I'm just excited to play one more year of St. Joseph basketball. And it's been a great season so far. Uh, and Allison, before we get into that opening game, you guys guys had let's talk a little bit about the preseason uh, big rebuild right now here at St. Joe's you guys lost a lot from last season what was practice like how were the girls going about getting ready for the year well we've worked really hard we've um, been doing conditioning and working with our new strength coach and we're we're very determined to build up this this program this year we have a lot of young girls but we're determined to work hard and we are working hard and coach, with so many young girls on this team, a loss of all your starters, what role are these two going to play as captains of this year's group? Well, so far we've had them in a great leadership role. They've done a great job with the young kids. Um, we've got uh, right now six juniors and five sophomores along with the two of them. So, um, for instance, we did an overnight jamboree, and these guys did an incredible job, you know, keeping everybody together, keeping our focus. You know, we've been trying to build a tradition here since I came here seven years ago, and these guys have continued it. And um, it's really been great to see them bond together and do the things that they've been doing already in the preseason. And as you look back on this preseason, Coach, what were some of the positives you took away from it? What are some of the little things this group is still fine-tuning heading into the year? I think they're just trying to figure out how to play with each other because it's a new mix. Um, these guys have been on the varsity for a while, so we've got some new kids that are in the mix now. And I think I think we're trying to just find that gel, that, that, that rotation, all those types of things. The preseason, we played with a lot of different lineups. We played with a lot of different systems. Um, we've made some changes both in practice and in our game prep. And I think that that's going to help us down the road. Um, and they just really right now, I'm, I'm really proud of where they are right now. Um, you know, we faced a tough team Monday night in Pomperog and probably be a top 10 team in the state when it's all said and done. But now we get another chance to get back on the floor tonight against Newtown. And Allison, we were talking before you lost that opening game against Pomperog, but no one's winning FCX or States here in December. So what were the takeaways from that game? What did you see out of this young group that really left you with a good feeling in your mouth? Well, like I said before, we are determined to, you know, succeed this season. Um, practice yesterday. We're all, we have to keep our heads up. We have to keep our head in the game, and we just have to focus on this game tonight and uh, continue to work hard. Sarah, as you look ahead to the season and you get into the FCAC schedule, you get closer to the playoffs, what's one thing you think the cadets need to do very well this year if they're going to be successful? I think, like Ali said, we just need to keep our determination strong and keep working as hard as we are throughout the whole season. And for the both of you girls, when you look back on this team at the end of the year, what do you want your legacy to be? What's going to make this year's group a special one compared to those of the past? Me personally, I think this year's group, it is a younger team, but I feel like this, out of all my four years, is the closest team I've been on. So I think just to keep that strong and keep it for next year to keep them as close as we are this year. Yeah, I agree with what Sarah said and just want you know to continue. Um, we have a close close bond as a team all right obviously as coach said no build more billboard material here but is there one game in particular you guys are really excited for this season uh the trumbull game yeah, yeah definitely uh, it's always fun when the eagles yeah. and the cadets get together girls coach great job today thank you so much we're looking forward to seeing you and the rest of the cadets on the court this season good luck out there thank you thank, thank you. you alongside the coach and captains for the saint joseph girls basketball team this is the ajn network's 2017 winter sports tour stay tuned as we roll on through the rest of the conference